Hey guys, this is Miss Adventurous Mommy from Miss Adventurous and Baby Raising, and today I am back with yet another awesome makeup product to do a review for. Um, I'm huge into makeup. If you don't know that already, then now you do. I love all makeup items, all makeup products, all makeup brands. I love to try anything makeup related, and I love sharing those thoughts and reviews with you guys. So that's what this is. Um, today we are reviewing something that is from a brand that I love, and this is what it looks like. It's called the Coors, and I've actually heard it pronounced Coors and Corez. However, my absolute favorite makeup guru slash artist on YouTube, Jaclyn Hill, called it Coors. Not this in particular, but called the brand Coors, so that's good enough for me, so we're going to call it Coors. So this is the Coors Pomegranate Face Primer. It is a mattifying primer. It says it is 94% natural content, and it mattifies, minimizes pores, and skin, and perfects the skin. And this is what the box looks like. And this is what the tube looks like. All right, so this stuff's a little different than any other primer that I've tried. I first wanna tell you that I'm like a huge fan of primers in general. I love primers. I think that just as you would prime a wall to paint it, you should prime your face before you put anything on it because a good primer is going to mattify, a good primer is going to minimize the pores, and a good primer is going to even out the skin tone and do all those kind of things to get your face ready to look its best when you put makeup on top of it. So I think you should definitely use a primer, and I think that if you are going to use a primer, you should use a good one. And if you haven't tried the Coors Pomegranate Primer, you should. Anyway, this is a little bit different than anything that I've tried before. I'm kind of used to the more silicone base, like the Smashbox Photo Ready or Finish or whatever it's called, or the creamier, um, creamier primers. This one is definitely different than those. It, um, I love the way that it feels. I love the way that it soaks into my skin and goes into my pores, but it also has a little bit of a tint, which is something new to me because a lot of the primers, most of the primers that I have are either clear or white in color. So this is definitely new. So if you're, you know, if you get this and you see this and you're like, oh my gosh, why is it this color? Don't freak out because I don't seem to, when you rub it into your skin and it just soaks into your pores and goes in and fills them in and does all of those things that it, you know, is made to do, there's really no visible trace of the actual um, tint, so it's gone. But um, so don't let that throw you off. Don't let that you know dissuade you from buying this because it. That is just a teeny tiny little fraction of what this thing is. It also has a very nice smell. I'm not a huge fan of really strongly um, fragranced products on my face. And so when I first put this on, it kind of, you know, bugs me a little bit, but after 10 minutes, the smell kind of diminishes, you know, once you get your um, foundation on and your powder and all that, it's pretty much gone and you don't smell it anymore. But the smell is nice. I just don't like a lot of very strong fragrance on my face. But as far as primer goes, and like I said, I'm a huge primer fan. I have probably 15 different kinds of primer. I'm really loving this. Um, it definitely mattifies your face. It definitely, definitely diminishes your pores. My pores are huge and you really can't see. The lighting in here is awful. And of course I have this on so you couldn't see anyway. But um, it definitely diminishes the look of that. It also kind of evens out my skin tone and makes my skin look a lot better. Versus not using this or using another primer, I've noticed that not only does my skin look great before I put on pr uh, foundation, but after it just looks so much better I think it it stays forever and that's another thing a lot of primers I've noticed you know I have to touch up within a couple of hours this one I a good five six hours before I have to touch up and I tend to have very oily skin so that tends to come through very quickly with most primers I don't notice that that happens with this I do you know have to touch up but it's normally after about five hours and that's it's pretty warm it's in the 80s here it has been for a couple weeks it definitely has been since I've been trying this and that doesn't seem to affect it at all either I mean, I'm not touching up more. It has great staying power. It makes your makeup look amazing. Your pores look smaller. Your skin just all around looks better. Um, I even put it on my husband's face because I like to try primers on him when I try them on me because, you know, if it makes his skin look better and matte and all that, then, you know, that's not just me saying, oh, I love this. You know, it's I'm seeing it on someone else. So I always do it on him. Don't tell anybody because he would never, ever, ever let me live that down. But I did. Does same thing prime, makes them look great. Anyway, if you're looking for a good primer, I would definitely recommend the Coors Pomegranate Face Primer. I think that it is, as far as primers go, and as far as the ones that I have and I've tried and that I own, 
It, it's my favorite right now and it seems to be, in my opinion, better than the ones I've tried in the past, better than all the ones I own at the moment, including the Smashbox, which I don't even reach for anymore. I always go in for this. I'm definitely going to repurchase it. I don't know if I've already told you, but I believe it's available at Sephora and Ulta and anywhere else I'll let you know down below and in the accompanying blog post over at Miss Adventures and Babe Raising. Anyway, if you're looking for a great primer, I think this is less than 40 bucks. You should definitely pick this up. Um, it's definitely not a drugstore primer. It's a little bit more pricey than that, but honestly, if you're looking for a great one that does the things that it claims to do, you should definitely check this one out. Again, this is Miss Adventurous Mommy. Uh, make sure you check out the blog post about this little baby over on Miss Adventurous and Baby Raising. And until next time, guys, mwah!